Welcome back gamers. It's Roll Easy and right now today we have a brand new retro duplication glitch, money glitch, car duplication glitch, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same shit. Now, this one you can, like I said, you can duplicate retros. You don't have to duplicate a Sultan or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so shout out to the founder, Apocalypse, for coming up with this one. Great find, man. Uh, you can see him down in the description. I'll leave him there. And uh, you you're going to need a few requirements, though. So you got to have a friend, first of all, with an MOC. So your friend needs an MOC to be able to help you out with this. Uh, you as the duper, you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. And you want to make sure that you have an RH8 or a Faggio inside your MOC. That's going to help you transfer the plates. You don't need custom plates for this, guys. All right. This is a no custom plates duplication glitch. So for all of you dupe detected guys or guys that don't have access or, you know, whatever. If you don't have your custom plates, don't worry about it. You don't need them for this glitch. You get a brand new plate every time. And, uh, and your friend that has the MOC, he actually needs to start up an invite only session. And he needs to invite you to it. But before that, this is the steps. You want your friend to start up an invite-only session. You want him to call out his MOC and have it out there. Then tell him to send you an invite. When you get into the session, you go ahead and you call up your MOC. Now, we parked our MOCs close to each other. Whether you need it like that or not, we I don't know for sure. But if you want to do it like us, just have your MOCs close to each other. So big shout out to my friend Drift King right over here for helping me out with this glitch. And uh, yeah, let's get started, guys. Okay, so now here we go. We're going to get started with the glitch, and he's here. His MOC is already out here on the map before he invited me to the session. I brought up my MOC, and I have an RH8 parked inside of my trailer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to enter into my MOC, and this is how we get glitched out. I had originally found this, and we I didn't know what to do with it, but this guy Apocalypse came up with it, man. So you're going to get into the car and hold right trigger. So pretty much right when you press Y or triangle to get in the car, just slam on the right trigger and hold it, and look at that. When you go outside, your car is just going to take control of itself, and it's just going to drive forward. That's how you know you're glitched out. You're actually bricked out of all of your, uh, out of every vehicle. So you're in a glitch state. Uh, this ha this kept happening to us on accident during give cars to friends. But uh, so after you're glitched out, you're going to go ahead and proceed to just blow up that RH8. Go ahead and call your mechanic at this point, and you're going to proceed to calling up the car that you want to duplicate. For me, it's going to be a retro, since, you know, they're worth the most money. Duplicate any Benny's vehicle with this. Uh, sports cars and supercars are a waste of time, so duplicate Benny's vehicles only, all right? So right here, I called up my retro. I'm going to wait for my retro to spawn on the map. Once my retro spawns on the map, I'm actually going to call Lester right now, I think, yeah, to get the cops off me. Because you don't want them bothering you. But you see, my retro is on the map. That's going to be the one we're going to be duplicating. And I'm going to remove, remove my wanted level. So once that's done, I know the cops aren't going to bother me anymore. You're going to go ahead to call Moore's Mutual. Now, when you call Moore's Mutual, you're going to make a claim on that vehicle that you just blew up on that RH8. So I'm going to make the claim for it. Boom, $1,100. Easy. Now... What we're gonna do now is since you're bricked out of every vehicle that you get into, your friend needs to actually drive your car that you're gonna duplicate, in this case the retro, up to your MOC. Now, as you can see right there, I have a custom plate on here because I wanna show you guys the plate when it duplicates. It's gonna get a brand new plate from the RH8 that we just destroyed. So he's gonna park it up there since you can't do it yourself. And then you're gonna go ahead and get in the vehicle. And this is, if it keeps kicking you out of the vehicle when you get in, you gotta hold right trigger when you get in the vehicle and that'll keep you in there. So go ahead and press right on the D-pad. It's going to ask you to transfer vehicles. You're just going to hit OK. Now, after you hit OK, you're going to end up in a black infinite loading screen. OK, and once again, guys, to go back to that part, I know a lot of people are going to be asking what, what's happening. It's not letting me stay in my car. That's because you have to get in the car and then hold the trigger so that it keeps you in the car. Okay, so now I'm stuck in an infinite black loading screen. At this point, you can't get out of this, so you have to tell your friend to go ahead and jump to creator. So press start, go to online, and then jump into creator. Once he jumps into creator, you're going to end up out of the loading screen, and you're going to end up back in your car. And this is actually the duplicate right over here. So check it. My friend left, and look at that. Brand new plate on the car. That's the plate that came from the RH8. And there you go. That's your duplicate. That's the glitch easy as hell guys i told you very very easy no crazy timing or anything like that that has to do with this glitch i know the sultan glitch a lot of people were having problems with that you know sometimes it works sometimes it didn't this glitch is flawless works 100 percent of the time as long as you follow the directions down to a t so now what you want to do to be able to save the car is go ahead and drive it back into your moc 
and the car is saved just like that. Now, with any other duplication glitch where you have to drive into the MOC to save it, I always recommend driving in twice just to make sure it saves. So right here, after I, dri I drove it in once, I'm gonna just tap right trigger to drive it out. If you hold right trigger, remember it's gonna get you all glitched out and stuff. So just tap right trigger to leave the MOC with your duplicate and you're just gonna go ahead and go back and park it in there just for safekeeping, just to make sure you don't lose the dupe. Since you do need two players, you wanna make sure that you are keeping every dupe that you make. So in this location, it does spawn you sometimes like on the highway and stuff. Don't worry about it, just make your way around and then go back over. But I don't think it matters the location that you're in. It doesn't even matter if you get the animation, to be honest with you. Um, it's as long as it just gets in there, you know? So I'm going ahead and saving it twice and boom, it's saved. So that's one glitch or one car done. Now I'm just gonna show you another car being done just to show you how quick it really is. So right here, I'm ready to go. He invited me to this session. His MOC is already out on the map and I already have an RH8 waiting inside of my MOC, ready to get myself glitched out again. So press Y and start holding the right trigger and just keep it held. So he's gonna start the car. I'm still holding right trigger or that be R2 for you guys on PlayStation. And once again, you see the car takes control of itself, glitched me out. Now you're in a glitched out state and you can't get into any sort of vehicles. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I actually forgot real quick I needed to blow up my car so go ahead and blow up the car don't forget that that's very essential so blow up the car you're gonna get the cops on you probably just uh, but first call your mechanic if you do this real quick like I am you can get it done and rinsing and repeating will not be an issue and I'm gonna call up the retro that I want to go ahead and duplicate so and once again you can use any Benny's vehicle alright Benny's vehicles are the ones to dupe so once I call them up I'm just gonna go ahead and call Lester just to get the cops off me, remove my wanted level. You do not want the cops to be bothering you. Once again, it sucks. They do screw up everything. Cops are just oh, so dumb in this game. But uh, yeah, so now my car is on the map already. Let your friend know where it is so that he can go to it, but you're gonna be calling up Moore's Mutual now that the car's on the map, and you're gonna make a claim for that RH8 that you just destroyed. So now I made a claim for it. There's the 1100 bucks taken out and go ahead and run over to your car with your friend and since you're all bricked and glitched out of every single vehicle you're gonna go ahead and let him drive now he's gonna drive it back over to your MOC so that you can get the positioning right now if you guys didn't notice already when you were you make a claim for your vehicle it's going right back into the MOC but since it was all glitched out that's the glitched out state that we're getting into and then when you drive the car this retro back over there and notice I got the custom plan on there again so I can show you guys that this is the original car. When you drive it up to there, you get that option, would you like to replace the vehicle? You want that because all of a sudden when you do the, all these steps, when you come back in, it's just, it's a merge glitch. The, uh, the, ret or the, the RH8 plate is merging onto your new retro. So go ahead, once he positions you behind your MOC, hop into your retro that you're gonna duplicate or whatever Benny's vehicle. You saw how it kicked me out right there? That's because I didn't press right trigger. So I'm pressing triangle or, or Y and then holding right trigger so that it keeps me in the car. I press right D-pad, it's gonna ask me to transfer and I just hit yes to confirm that and now I end up back on that black loading screen. Now once I'm on the loading screen, this is when I tell him, I've confirmed I'm on this screen, you go ahead and you load up creator for me. And pretty much within 10 seconds of him loading into Creator, you will be spawning back. So look at that real quick. You see he left in the bottom left and then boom, I got the brand new plate from the RH8 that we we're transferring. And there you go. This is a brand new duplicate. Your original car just goes back to wherever it came from, whatever garage that you know you drove it from. So that's the glitch right there and make sure that you save the car. So drive it into your MOC, not once, but twice. Okay, I always recommend Driving it in twice, I like to be safe with these glitches, and this is the kind of glitch to do. Even if you have custom plates, this is an awesome glitch because you're guaranteed to not get dupe detected. You're getting a brand new, you know, generic plate every single time. It's fresh, clean, and shouldn't have any complaints about this, man. It shouldn't have any complications either. This is as easy as a dupe glitch gets. Although it's two players, can't be easier than that. Just make sure you as the duper are not starting the session. Okay, your friend who's helping you needs to start the invite only session and he needs to have his MOC outside before you jump in the session and you have your MOC out, okay? So make sure once again in the beginning before every time you do this glitch, whoever is helping out needs to start up the session and call out their MOC previous to you going into the session and you calling out your MOC. 
That's the only way it works. We tried, I tried just starting up the session myself and trying to dupe. It will not work. All right. Once you go to transfer vehicles, you end up inside the MOC, you drive out and you actually spawn under the map. So make sure you're doing it that way, guys. So as you saw right there, I saved it twice. That's the duplicate. It is saved. You can go ahead and put it back in your garage. Go ahead and get another RH8 or a Fagio, and then you can rinse and repeat, you know, once your friend starts up the new session. Or you guys can just, you know, every new session your friend goes into, you know, you guys can flip-flop back and forth. You get a car, you know, from his session, and then he gets a car from your session. So that's a re really neat way to do it. You can get dupes probably every four or five minutes. And if you're duping retros, that's a million bucks every five minutes. That's not a bad deal right there. All right, so any questions, you guys know where to put them down in the comments. Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me by hitting that red button if you're new. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. Let's keep pushing. Peace out, y'all.